Conan recently stated that CM Punk, I quote, wants an astronomical amount of money to join AEW. Now, before I share my opinion, I want to break this down logically. It's easy just to say, skip them or sign them. But again, we have to break this down to see, is this actually a good decision, even financially? Keep in mind that we're in the middle of a pandemic. Now, whether AEW can afford him or not, that remains to be seen. I'm sure they can. We don't even know how much CM Punk is asking for. I'm assuming millions of dollars. But at the same time, CM Punk has been removed from the professional wrestling business. I'm not going to count WWE backstage. We'll talk about that in a second. Since early 2014. He walked away. He seems a lot happier. He seems pretty confident with his decision. But if he were to come back to professional wrestling, he wants millions of dollars. At least that's what we can assume. Is he worth the hefty price tag? Now, he has notoriety, undoubtedly. A lot of fans know who he is, especially in the modern day, but even old school fans loved him because he was a bit of a throwback to Steve Austin in a completely different way. Just a rumble without a cause, right? A bit of a James Dean character in that regard. But with that price tag comes this. Now, remember TNA back in the day? I think it was 2010. I really stopped watching it regularly after about 2007, but they brought in Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, Eric Bischoff. They brought in a whole bunch of names and they did see a boost. You know how long it lasted? Like a couple weeks. Boo! Plateaued, went right back down. I suspect the same thing would happen with CM Punk. They'd bring him in, they'd see the ratings boost up, it'd be a little bit inflated for a couple of weeks and then it would dive back down. We know that he can perform on the microphone. We've seen it on various talk shows he's appeared on, on WWE Backstage. But can he still go in the ring? I'm assuming that's where the money is, as Dusty Rhodes always used to say. But where's the money? Can he perform in the ring? I'm sure they would pair him up with Jericho or Cody or countless others. But why not focus on the homegrown talent? It's the whole buy low, sell high right? I mean, it's in the stock market. That's what you do. But you look at Wardlow and Jungle Boy and Darby and so many others that they probably bought at very low contracts and they're overperforming when you really think about it. But when you bring in CM Punk, you're going to expect greatness right off the bat. And I've never doubted his talents because I've been a big fan of his since about 2003. And to see his progression over the years was outstanding. But I don't think him or anybody is worth the hefty price tag just for a slight boost in the ratings. That's all that we're going to see there. Let me know what you think, and I'm going to produce more of these videos. So if you want to follow along, like the Signature Spot Facebook fan page, or also like it on YouTube, which is also where I'm going to be posting these.